coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between AJ, Anthony Joshua, and the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. All right, so here he is, Tyson Fury, the king of the gypsies, the king of the heavyweights. You can argue no man in the sweet science has more steam than Tyson Fury right now, so much so that he's crossing over into the UFC to prove that he is not just an elite boxer. We've seen the videos of him training with the gorilla Darren Till. Don't want to read too much into that footage. But big picture, Fury believes he can not just fight the UFC, but can actually contend. He is as confident as anyone in combat sports and doesn't figure to be phased by the big show atmosphere here today. Well, this right here is a spectacle, folks. I'm not sure I ever thought I'd see the day that an elite heavyweight boxer like this chooses to ply his trade, potentially long-term, in mixed martial arts. Here he is, Anthony Joshua, two-time unified heavyweight champion, the Vladimir Klitschko killer. And now the question beckons, what is it gonna be like as he tries to test his elite boxing skills in this MMA set? And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds, Tyson Fury. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds, fighting out of London, England, Anthony Joshua. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my fault. You ready to fight? You ready? I can't believe this is happening right now, but it is the start of round one between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Incredible to think that this didn't happen in the boxing setting, and Joshua and Fury are going to test their skills and their wits against each other here in the UFC. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Effective punch there by Fury. And there comes the separation now. Fury's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. It's okay, you're fine. Let's Throws the right hand there. Back and forth we go here. Okay. Leg kick. Effective use of the jab by Anthony Joshua. 
Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely fresh in that one. You love that punch, don't you? You love that jab. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice combination. think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the middle. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. He's out! He got a performance! Just an Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knockout. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Joshua. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party. I mean, 